and she just got healed. She had stomach pain, eh? Yeah. Stomach pain. And constant, what happened? He prayed for you? Yeah. And now? Now it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My pain is gone. Oh, praise Jesus, eh? Yeah, thank you. This is prophesied way back. He says that I will give you new hearts. I will give you a new spirit that is faithful to me. I will remove your stubborn heart from you. I will give you hearts that obey me. I will put my spirit in you. I will make you want to obey my rules. I want you to be careful to my laws. He makes it able for us to follow him. He makes it able for us to stay away from sin. He makes it possible for us, not another one. He makes it possible to obey Him. We need the Holy Spirit to live this life and it is for everyone, every single one. That's why we need to be truly born again. A friend told me a very long time ago, if I ever start reading the Bible, I should start with the first letter of John. And I took the, the Bible and I started reading. When I came to the third chapter, God had changed my life. God had ripped my whole doctrine, everything that I believed before, it ripped apart. Now, 1 John 3 verse 6 says, and Anyone who continues to sin has never seen or known Jesus. How could I have had a relationship with Him if I continued to sin? And you can so easily be deceived by being in the third ground. And I was deceived by being in the third ground. And I realized that day that I was being deceived, that the cares and the lust of the world kept me away from truly bearing fruit. Jesus, yes, I am washed by His blood. 